Hello everyone, welcome to Go Get My Guru. In this video, we'll discuss about Angular 18 folder structure and files. In the last video, we have created a new project in Angular and I have named it as Angular 18 project. And we have also seen that lot of files got created once I created the project. So we will discuss these files one by one today. First, let me discuss about the file that is package.json file. So once I open this package.json file, it's a key value pair. The file is written in the form of key and the value pair. So what basically this package.json file consists of? Package.json file basically consists of list of packages required to run and build the Angular application. All these packages are required to run the Angular application properly. And if you remember, whenever we were creating a new project, the moment I entered a command ng new and the project name, it gave us a message that installing packages. So these are all the packages actually gets installed whenever we were creating a new project. Now all these list of packages will be installed under this node modules folder. So this is the folder which will take more space in your application. If you observe here, it is giving a key as name and this name is same as whatever the project name we give while creating the project. And there is a key called version. So this is for versioning your projects. You can uh, give, you can change this version number as well. And then there are list of scripts. So if you remember when running an Angular application, I gave a command ng-serve-o. So you can see here the key for that is ng. So ng, ng and start ng serve if i wanted to use a key i can just say npm start if i give npm start it will pick the respective value that is ng serve and run the application and sometimes if the key value is very large we will directly run them using npm command and then there are two types of packages actually gets installed dependencies and dev dependencies so what is the difference between these two is dependencies packages are compulsory required during runtime as well as during the release of the project or during the production time. But as the name itself suggests, there is one more dependency that is dev dependencies. So these are required only during the development stage. We don't uh, need them during the production stage. So that is what the main difference between these two. You can see here, if any external package we want to install, we can install them here all these list of packages goes into node modules folder there is one more file called as git ignore file you can observe node and node modules just understand this node module so because i said it will take more space that is why whenever you are pushing the code to the repository node modules folder is written in the git ignore file as the name itself suggests git ignore is whenever you are pushing it to git repository ignore this file so that git won't track this file and whenever anyone clones the repository they need to have this node modules so they can just run the command npm install so that all the list of packages which are defined in the package.json gets installed and this node modules folder gets created then we have ts config json file typescript configuration file basically all the uh, configuration related to typescript are written here as you all know angular uh, applications are written using typescript language browser won't understand the typescript language browser only understands the javascript so in order to convert this typescript language code to javascript so what compiler options required so those are listed in this file then we have tsconfig.app.json file this is basically tsconfig.json file is generic file which is used as configuration file for typescript whereas tsconfig.app.json file is particular to that app that means the typescript configuration particular to the app which we are working so that is the difference between tsconfig file and ts 
config dot app dot json file and there is one more file ts config dot spec dot json file so this is also a configuration file but it is related to the testing unit testing configuration and then we have something called as readme.md file so this readme.md file is a markdown file which is used to document the application so then we have something called as angular.json file so what is this angular.json file angular.json file is nothing but project specific configuration so angular. JSON file is project specific configuration file which provides configuration defaults for build and development tools provided by the Angular CLI. So this file mainly helps point to correct files in the solution. So you can observe here it has something called as here prefix as app and then uh, we have something called as index index key which is uh, given as a value as src slash index dot html main dot ts this particular project what we have created so angular dot json file gives only project specific configurations required so that each file is located properly now we have one more folder called as src folder so if i expand this src folder you can see again inside it we have lot of files here so before going to all these files let me just expand the app folder and inside the app folder we have something called as appconfig.ts file appconfig.ts defines the configuration and tells the angular that how to assemble the application so there are some providers here provide zone change detection and then uh, we have something called as provide router this is basically used for routing uh, similarly if we are working with the api's uh, endpoint we have to call then we have to go for http client any providers we will be using in our application we have to register them here so this is one change in angular 18 uh, version that is appconfig.ts in the previous versions that is angular 16 and all we used to have something called as app module.ts file so now there is no app module.ts file let me show you the previous uh, version file you can observe here once i expand the app folder we have something called as app module.ts file so if i open this app module.ts file we have the same thing like uh, bootstrapping which uh, component we want to bootstrap okay and then also we have something called as uh, declarations so app component whatever the components we create all those components will be registered here now only these all these things are uh, removed because angular 18 works with the standalone uh, component so we don't require all these things we have only the provider so that is what is uh, given in the angular 18 version you can see here provider so providers and a routing provider and application config provider so if any other providers like http client and other things we want to include we can include it in the providers list here similarly we have something called as app router routes.ts file this file is uh, required to define the routes if suppose in my application i am designing a home page a contacts page uh, or uh, the products page so all those uh, routes can be defined here and then we have uh, one more file main.ts file so as all of you know that any programming language the entry point is the main program the same with the angular so main.ts is the entry point to the uh, application so main.ts whenever we run our application main.ts file is bootstrapping or loading the app component here you can see it is loading the app component as well as app configuration so app config.ts and then app components are loaded by default it is loading the app component so this is the entry point so that control goes to app component now anything we see on the browser is rendered via the html page now let me run this application ng serve hyphen o so now you can observe here whenever we run angular application by default we are getting all these things now so from where this content is coming we all know that it is rendering from the html page if i go to the project now and then 
if i go to index.html remember one thing whenever application uh, starts so it loads index.html page and in the index.html page do i have any content no i don't have any content which is visible on the browser here like hello angular 18 project congratulations all these things i don't have so from where it is getting rendered so basically you can see in the body of the html page i have something called as app hyphen root so what is this app hyphen root is doing is app hyphen root in turn loads a root component so this root component by default in a newly created angular project is the app component so we can change that so that app component if i go to app components html page you can see the content what we are seeing on the browser so hello and then the title so from where this title is coming again title is coming from component.ts file so basically src folder consists of entire logic for our application which we are writing using the typescript so you can see here title of the project we have given is angular 18 project so that is why that title is replaced here so that's how the control flows whenever an application starts main.ts is loaded main.ts is in turn calling an app component so in the app component and in the index.html we are loading app component html page by default so that's how we are able to see the content return in that particular components html page and then we have uh, we will discuss in detail about how to create a component what is component in the upcoming videos and then we have something called as style.css so you can see here it's already written in the comment that you can add global styles to this file wherein you want to apply a same style you can define that style in the style.css file which applies styles globally so we have seen package.json consists of list of package is required to build and run the angular application again we have seen here that we have two types of uh, packages that is dev dependencies and dependencies what was the difference between two dev dependencies is uh, required only during the development phase so whereas packages listed under the dependency keys are required both during uh, runtime as well as the development time and then we have something called as tsconfig.json file so this is nothing but typescript related configuration file and then we have something called as angular.json file so angular.json it basically provides project specific configuration for build and development tools in the src directory mainly we have seen is main.ts file main.ts is nothing but entry point to the application which loads the app component by default and then we had seen index.html page this is the main html page that is served whenever uh, anyone visits the site so in that body of that html page we are loading the root component and then we had appconfig.ts file it basically defines the application configuration appconfig.ts file which defines the application configurations like we can define the providers like http client any other providers we are using in the application we can list in this particular file and then we have seen uh, approuter.ts file wherein we can list out all the routing points this is the folder structure gets created whenever we create any angular application in the upcoming videos we will see in detail about the component and rest of the concept so do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the future videos thank you